Tenotrophomonas maltophilia for medical students. It is a gram-negative aerobic bacteria that can cause infections, particularly in individuals with compromised immune systems or underlying health condition. It is a non-fermentative, non oxidase-positive, catalase-positive bacteria. It is inherently resistant to many antibiotics, making treatment challenging. This bacteria is considered an opportunistic pathogen, often affecting individuals with weakened immune system, such as those with cancer, HIV, or those on immunosuppressive medications. It is associated with various healthcare-associated infections, including respiratory tract infections, bloodstream infections, UTIs, skin and soft tissue infections. Patients with indwelling medical devices or chronic respiratory conditions or recent broad-spectrum antibiotic use are at an increased risk of the, the S. maltophilia infections. It can be found in various environments including water, water sources, soil and healthcare settings. Nosocomial or hospital acquired infections are not uncommon. Stenotrophomonas maltophilia is known for its intrinsic resistance to multiple antibiotics including many commonly used in healthcare setting. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole is often considered the treatment of choice but resistance, resistance can still occur. Diagnosis involves culturing the organism from clinical specimens such as blood, sputum or urine. Identification can be challenging and molecular methods can be used for confirmation. Due to its resistance profile, treatment options are limited. Tailoring therapy based on antimicrobial susceptibility testing is crucial. In some cases, a combination of antibiotics may be used. In healthcare settings, infection control measures including proper hand hygiene and environmental cleaning are important to prevent the spread of the bacteria. As a medical student, understanding the characteristics, risk factors and management of Stenotrophomonas maltophilia infections is valuable particularly when dealing with patients in healthcare settings or with compromised immune system. Thank you.